hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping background animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 10 seconds, and background color is white. And simply hit OK. Go to choose grid and guide option and hit off titles section. Now press G on your keyboard to select our pen tool. And from here to here, I'm going to create one stroke. And for the stroke width, right now I'm going to choose 30 for this one. Select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like that now go to the add menu and i'm going to choose trim path go to the trim path and end property let's choose 20 for now and now we will go to the shape options we will go to the stroke and line cap i'll choose round cap like that now go to the trim path again over here you will get this option called offset so simply create one keyframe over here and let's go to around four seconds and i'm going to make it one one means one complete rotation so we will get something like this now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out loop out expression on it like this so after four seconds it will again repeat this animation so uh, this is our animation now i'm gonna let's go to the start and create one keyframe at the end property now go to the around 1.15 frames when my stroke is at the middle press v for selection tool and let's close this thing for now select the shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move this over here and let's decrease the stroke size like that now select the shape layer again hit ctrl d and let's move this over here and increase the stroke width like that and adjust the position select the shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it move this over here let's decrease the stroke size like that now select the shape layer hit ctrl d move this over here and increase the scale like that now select the shape layer again hit ctrl d bring this over here hit ctrl d again bring this over here and decrease the stroke size like that select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here increase the stroke size like this so if you see we will get something like this throughout our animation now select all of them and hit u so we can see this now for this end property i am going to choose 50 for this one 30 this one 10 you can choose random numbers i am going to choose something randomly uh, it's okay if you are not precise with that let's make this 60 let's make this 10 or let's make this 20 so if you see this animation now as you can see we are getting something like that now what we will do we will go to around 8 seconds now and as you can see we will select this one and we will move this over here we will select this one and let's move this over here let's select this one and let's move this over here go over here and hit n and now if you see as you can see few are going fast and few are going less now go to around six seconds and let's move this one over here let's move this one over here and let's move this one over here like that let's see what we will get as you can see at this point we are not getting any loop so let's go to 10 second and hit n select all this eight keyframes uh, i mean those keyframes who are on eight and let's move them to 10 like that and select this keyframes and move them to around 5 
let's see and select these keyframes and let's move them to around at two seconds yeah so now if i go over here and let's hit play as you can see we are getting looping animation let's go to 10 seconds and hit end as you can see at this point we are getting something in the form of loop and if you want you can move this to around one second like that so we will get this continuous looping stroke animations like that so make sure that whatever you are going to adjust either uh, those keyframes should be at one second or at two seconds or at five seconds and or at 10 seconds so you can adjust it according to you yeah so now hit u again to remove this hit ctrl a to select all of them and press ctrl shift c to do uh, i mean pre compose it and let's make this one and hit ok like that now double click on it hit ctrl k on your keyboard and now we will increase the duration of this comp to let's say 50 seconds zoom out a little bit hit ctrl a to select all of them and increase the duration from here also let's go to one second like that yeah this looks good to me now let's go to around five seconds select this hit ctrl d and let's move this over here so at five seconds we will get something like that now select both of them and let's move them over here like that now select this second layer and increase the duration let's see what we will get yep so as you can see we are getting this kind of looping stuff over here now right click and create one null object select both of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press r for i'm uh, not r for scale s for scaling and we will scale this thing like that so we will get continuous looping animation for this one now press ctrl y and let's make a white background and hit ok and let's bring this over here like that now if you want right click new or instead of that go inside this one you can select this strokes and you can choose different different colors for those strokes like that you are free to choose whatever color you want i am not good at color pickup so i'll choose some random stuff yep now let's go to the main animation and let's see we will get something like that now select this uh, first layer right click go to the uh, what we call layer styles and choose bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss and increase the size and also increase the softness and shadow color i'm going to choose somewhere around bluish color and hit ok like that increase the size of it like this now select this layer style hit ctrl c to copy select the second layer and hit ctrl v select this first one go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect on it and increase the distance to 10 opacity to 30 and softness to 100 like that select this drop shadow hit ctrl c select the second layer and hit ctrl v so we will get this kind of animation throughout the 10 seconds like that so this is how you can create a looping background animation for your things so right click 
new and create one adjustment layer and this is just the optional this looks good and you can search for twill effect on it and if you twill this as you can see we are getting something like this and you can increase the radius length let's make this cut resolution select this null object and not this let's decrease the scale of this null like that let's bring this opacity to 10 not much more like this you can select this adjustment layer you can twill this like that select this null let's decrease the scale somewhere around over here yep now i'm going to select all of them press ctrl shift c to pre-compose it then i'll call it as final animation and hit ok press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this and let's bring this over here let's choose cord resolution let's move this over here like that to adjust the position so as you can see we will get a little bit twill effect in our animation so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation or if you don't want this you can skip this twill part and you can render out your animation also so that's it for the today's video we will see you in the next video So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.